All right, what we're going to go ahead and do now is make a group and we'll call it website. And we're actually going to take all the new elements and toss it in that group. And this will give us the ability to really quickly turn the, uh, the new stuff off so that we can see uh, what the, uh, the original design looks like. Um, let's go ahead and make a header group now. And we'll just toss that header layer in there. And uh, I think we're about ready to do some text. So let's go ahead and we'll just mess around with the header here. And we're going to select our text tool. And we're going to go ahead and click. And we're going to type in the name of our site. Uh, it appears that my font's pretty small here. So we'll go ahead and make that a little bigger. Um, this is definitely not the font that I want. Um, so let's go to our fonts here and I think we'll just go with uh, Franklin Gothic and uh, hold down control kind of get in the position we want I think I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and uh, we can do that by simply using the free transform tool uh, we could do it over here in the character palette too if you wanted uh, I prefer to do it this way And let's go ahead and we're going to highlight just the digital craft part without the. And we'll change the color of the text to um, blue. And that's good. Now, one thing I noticed with. Um, uh, the other side is that there's kind of a uh, subtle, subtle shaded look in here. And uh, we can pull that off with a very, very light gradient. So we'll go to our layer styles and we'll do a gradient overlay. Um, and let's go ahead and make this white. We'll make this actually dark gray um, and we're going to change we're going to say okay we're going to change the blending mode here to overlay um, and take the opacity down a little bit maybe brighten this up a little bit there. Now we have a, I don't know, just gives it a little more depth. Say okay. Alright, next thing, let's go ahead and work on our bucket text. Um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the, uh, the uh, three buckets that we made and just leave the one. So we're going to click all these groups here and drag them to the trash. And we'll rename this to bucket one. And the reason I'm going to do this is because we're going to do all the text in here and then duplicate them. That way, all we have to do is change the um, the the text itself, but the the text will already be in the position we want it and all that and the font we want. So let's go ahead and we'll do the button text first. So above, we're going to create another. Or a new text uh, layer above the highlight layer and here we go and I believe they just called this the basic plan and again my font size is kind of small let's get that where we want it 
they uh they seem to have been using a lighter font. Yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll use that uh some a font similar to that. I'm not really sure what font they're using. So I'm gonna find uh a font with a little more option um than the Gothic, Franklin Gothic does. Okay, I don't know why I didn't catch that, but it looks like they're probably using Helvetica. So I'm going to keep this uh, layer of the uh, sample site open so I can kind of use this as a reference. We're going to come up here and change the header to Helvetica too in a minute. Um, so I went with, uh, I'm going to make this 20, 26 points. almost looks like there's a slight drop shadow on the text so we'll give that a whirl here and there we go some of these things like uh, drop shadow and stuff I might fly through a little quicker now that we're deeper into the tutorial. Um, if you've been listening from the beginning you should already know how to make those adjustments. Um, but I'm going to continue here. Let's go ahead and make our learn more button text. And I'm really, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this layer by holding down control and shift. Or control and alt while dragging. And We'll change the text. We'll make it a bit smaller. Almost looks like they're using Helvetica condensed. So we'll grab that. Yeah, maybe they're not. Uh, this is what we're going to go with here. And we're going to change the tracking here to maybe negative 50, uh, maybe a little more. And bring the size down to, we'll say 12, and maybe 14. And that's close enough. I'm not going to nitpick. Um, I did notice that we've got this basic plan thing here in the wrong spot. Let's take it out of that button group. So we'll even make a new group for the bucket header. And toss that in there and the header background. So this kind of cleans up our little group there. Um, last thing I'm going to do is we're going to get this um, rate here. So we'll go ahead and grab that basic plan and duplicate it. Bring it down here. Again, holding control and alt at the same time while dragging and pull this out of the header and drag it down here and we'll change the text and we'll just make up a number and then we're going to go ahead and change the text color to maybe one of some blue here be even lighter. And pull the tracking out a little bit. Looks like they're using a different font there on that. Which yeah, I'm not gonna nitpick now. Go ahead and take the drop shadow off and make this Roman. 
Almost looks like they've got a gradient overlay on there though, so let's go ahead and add that. And we'll do it pretty similar to what we did here at the top in the site header. And like I said, when we get into some of these topics I've already discussed, so we can not turn this into a uh, three week long tutorial. I'm just gonna kind of do them. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do and then just do it. Um, we'll do overlay. There, that's a little better. Say okay. Now the one thing we aren't going to do is worry about this here. This could be done with just text and and CSS. So this this will be blank. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and minimize this bucket and we're gonna control alt and drag to duplicate it. And we'll call this bucket two. And we're gonna reorganize them a little bit here. And drag this out, make another one. And call this bucket three. And drag this one out and call it bucket four. All right, so now we've got all our buckets and it's got all the content that we're gonna want in there. So we can just go through and I'm going to do this very fast. Okay, now that's done. 